Today we're going to change the oil on a 2016 Mule Pro FX. This is a pretty cool utility vehicle. Just the inside real quick. It's got a radio. It's got a heater, but no AC. The heater's down there. And first thing we do is get it up on a stand. So we did that so I can crawl under. There's a big plastic panel down there that I have to remove to get at the oil plug. Okay, so this thing, I'm shaking it. It seems pretty steady, so I think I'll, I'll go under. Exposes our oil pan, which is right here, and I'll show you the oil filter is right here. So I'll have to get that out. I'll get the oil draining first, and then I'll go after that filter. This is a 14 millimeter socket. Okay, I'm twisting off the oil filter. I'm wearing these gloves that have a rubber and they allow me to get a good grip, so that's good. which is Chinese. Not thrilled about that, but with Kawasaki's name on it, I'm okay with it. It's been a good motor. Lots of torque. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some oil. Now this filter goes in sideways, so I'm going to go ahead and let the oil run off when I go to install this so I don't dump it all back on. Okay, that's okay, engine oil, two and a half quarts. That's what I thought. All right. <laughs> 
This is the oil I use. I don't know if you can see that. It's AMS oil, ATV, UTV motor oil, 10W40. I change it once every two years. I don't put a lot of miles on, so I'm not too concerned about it. So the, the cover, basically you slide it forward like this. There's a couple tabs in here, it holds it here. And then what I do is I come in and hit this center support. everything in place then you can go ahead and get everything started okay already started the motor and it's been setting for a couple minutes to allow the oil to drain so I'll show you where the the dipstick is this orange thing right here so I'm gonna pull that puppy out We can add a little bit more. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but that's oils at the top mark there so I'll let that fly. Battery tender harness right here. Got the ground hook there and the positive right here. So that's right direct to the battery. It's worked out really good. Okay. And that, my friends, is how I change the oil on a Pro FX. It is a total pain, but once you get the hang of it, it gets better each time.
So, hope that was interesting and helpful, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. You guys take care.